hello everyone and then welcome to another tutorial video okay so in our previous video we took time to take a look at how we could solve um, decimal places and one standard form significant figures with our calculator okay so in this video we'll be treating number bases okay and then um indices okay so we'll be treating number bases and indices right so in case you are new to this channel i will urge you to know subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos because these videos are very very important and they will help you get your, the required grade okay for your wasi examination okay for your upcoming wasi examination in case you are an old member of this channel i'll say thank you for subscribing and then let's dive right into this video now so for this question this Note that these are all WASI based questions, okay? They are all WASI based questions. Okay, so let's proceed. So we have to simplify this question, okay? We have to simplify this question. This is a number based question. So we have to put the calculator in what? Number based mode, okay? So to do that, click on mode and then click on 4, okay? 4 is for what? Number based, okay? Click on 4. So now you could notice that this what? This DEC means this, this okay? So it means that. It's in base 10 okay and then when you come here this is in what when you click here this will be in base 10 when you click this this will be in base 6 when you click this this will be in base 2 then when you click this this will be in on base 8 okay notes look at the 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 ones I'm just clicking okay look at the buttons I'm just clicking okay this base 10 base 6 base 2 base 8 but we want this answer in what base 2 because the Options provided are all in what base 2. So click on this. So you can notice that this what BIN over here written in green. So click on that. It will be in what base 2. Now punch this on the calculator. Okay. So open brackets. You punch that. So you have what? So first, let's see. Want this in what? Also in base 2. Okay. We want this also in base 2 because 1 1 are in what? Base 2. So click on shift. Okay. Follow. Um, systematically so that you get to understand click on shift at, after that you click on what the number base okay from here you can notice that we have what base okay base written on top of the three okay so click on that this is the base okay written in what yellow and then surrounded with what green so that it corresponds to these ones these ones are also um, written in what green or so okay so click on that you can notice that we have what and or so as no not and what net but you could see an arrow over here pointing down so click on that so you could notice that this what d means that this the d corresponds to what the this the h corresponds to what the hexa the b corresponds to the, the binary and then the o corresponds to the octa okay so click on what the binary which is what three okay click on three so now this what we are we are about to write this in what base two okay so just punch the one one okay punch that one one okay and then you close the bracket from here you could just use this okay you could just use this but it will it might not work okay because these are already what in number base so once you click this it will just convert this to what the number base but you want this in what the binary so all you have to do is that this what raised to the power two it means that this is being multiplied two times so you just duplicate that okay so you click on the time sign and then you just repeat this okay so you open the brackets you click on shift you click on the three okay that's a, for the number base click on three this arrow you click downwards and then you choose three okay that's the binary choose three and then you punch the same thing again because this is two times okay so we have what one one and then you close the bracket this is very very simple once you go through the procedure okay it's very, very simple after Punching this, all you have to do is just click on the equal to sign. So after click on the equal to sign, you can notice that you arrive at the correct answer. Okay. So now the correct answer is what? Ignore this portion. Okay. Ignore this portion. Okay. Where you don't have the zero beginning from the beginning. Okay. Where you don't have zero from the beginning. So you ignore all this portion and then start from here. Okay. So we have what? One zero zero one. Okay. One zero zero one. So the answer is what? B. Okay. Answer is B. B is what? 1001. So the answer is B. The answer is not A. The person who chose A is unfortunately wrong. Okay. So the answer is B. Okay. So let's let's proceed. Let's proceed from there. 
now so we are done with what a number based problem so once you come across any number based problem you can just use this approach to arrive at the correct answer okay right so let's look at indices let's look at indices based problems okay right so let's clear everything or for indices all you have to do is just point the question on the calculator and then it will just provide you with the answer okay it's just simple straight for you there's no need to solve this okay again there is no need to put pen on paper to solve this okay you'll be just wasting your time because you don't have much time during the examination okay that's why i'm taking time to make these videos for you okay right so just point this on your calculator and then the answer will be just provided to you okay it will just the answer will just pop up okay so two and then you have what exponent so click on the exponent you have what root okay click on root and then you have what 2x plus 1 so you have 2 so to punch x you click on alpha and then you click on x okay then you have what plus plus 1 okay after that you click on this and then you click on that again so that you'll, you'll be on the same level with the 2 okay because the 32 is on the same level with the 2 so we then you punch what the equal to sign for so you punch the equal to sign, click on alpha, and then you click on this, okay? This way you have the equal to sign. So you click on that, and then you punch what? 32, okay? After this, after punching this, all you have to do is just click on shift, solve, and after that you click on the equal to sign. It will just give you the correct answer, okay? So from here, you could notice that the correct answer is what? 12, okay? So the correct answer is what? 12. You could notice that the person chose 13, which is wrong. So the correct answer is really 12 okay not 13 so the person who chose 13 is wrong okay right so let's proceed let's proceed from there so you could notice that some of these answers you get from somewhere could be wrong okay right so you have to verify them by yourself so that you know that you are doing the right thing okay so let's proceed to this question right so again all you have to do is just punch this and then You'll be provided with the answer okay you'll be provided with the correct answer okay so let's do that let's point the whole of this and then let's check the answer so you have what 16 okay times 2 okay you have 2 and then you have exponent what open brackets and you have x plus 1 okay so you have alpha x okay plus 1 okay and then you close the brackets you click on that okay so that it will be on the same level okay have equal to sign over here so you click on alpha you click on the equal to sign and then you point what four and then you have what exponent x so you point this exponent and then you click on alpha click on x okay and then you click on this so that it will be on the same level multiply by what eight okay so we have eight okay and then you have exponent okay so you click on exponent open the brackets we have what one minus what x okay one minus x so you can notice that you've been able to point the whole of what the expression on the calculator make sure that the most important thing is that you have to make sure that you punch the correct expression on the calculator okay right so after that you click on the shift you click on the calc and then you click on the equal to sign you'll get the right answer okay they'll give you the right answer so the correct answer is what negative one okay so the answer is what negative one you see how simple this is okay if you haven't come across this channel you might not even know what um or how to go about solving these questions okay right okay so let's proceed let's solve this question okay let's solve this question okay now so we have to solve this question okay so we have what 0 0.064 so 0 0.064 and then you close the brackets exponent to what minus one on what five is it five Okay, so let's check minus 1 on 5. Okay, let's check minus 1 on 5. Right, so you can notice that we had what? 1.73, okay? Okay, so it's rather 3, okay? It's rather 3. Okay, it's not 5, it's 3. Okay, so 3, okay? So we point on that. Okay, so the correct answer is what? 5 on 2, okay? Is three is minus one on three, so the correct answer is what five point two. So the correct answer is what D. Okay, the correct answer for this is D. So we have what open bracket zero point zero six four close bracket exponent minus one on three. Okay, so that's five point two. Right. So let's proceed to the next question. Right. Okay. So let's point this. So this is just indices. Just point the 
entire question and then the answer will just pop up okay so the same procedure we have what 8 exponent what alpha x okay minus 2 just punch the question just as you see it on the what the question paper onto the calculator okay click on this and then you click on alpha and then you have 4 and then exponent what 3x okay 3x okay so after that you click on shift solve and then you click on the equal to sign you get the correct answer okay so the correct answer is what minus 2 okay so the correct answer is minus 2 over here that is b okay right you see how simple this is okay let's proceed let's proceed from there let's proceed from there okay so you have what the next question is this okay so this will be our final question okay this will be our final question so let's point this on your calculator okay and then let's find the correct answer so you have what 0 0.25 okay close the bracket so this is y okay it doesn't matter you can use y you can use x it's the same you end up with the same answer okay so we have what exponent alpha so let's just use y okay let's use y so this y okay so you click on y and then you click on this you click on the equal to sign okay alpha equal to sign and then you click on what 32 so after that you click on shift solve okay so from here you can notice that we have what an error that's why initially i said that we have to use what x okay so use x okay it's very very advisable i was trying to prove to you why you shouldn't use y okay so use x okay so after that you click on shift solve and then you click on the equal to sign you end up with the correct answer which is what minus 2.5 okay so from here i could just tell you that i'm um, minus 2.5 is a okay but you might not believe me okay so let's prove that minus 2.5 is actually minus 5 on 2 okay so let's see minus 5 on 2 okay let's see the answer you could you could notice that it is what minus 2.5 okay right so the answer for this question is also a okay so thanks for staying with me to the end of the video the in the next video we'll be treating what sex okay we'll be moving to sex and then in case you are new to this channel kindly subscribe in case you are an old subscriber thanks for subscribing and then watching this video and in case you want to know or see more of these videos which will help in your future exams i would urge you to subscribe turn on your post notifications and i will see you in the next video have a lovely day bye bye